Here he comes. Here we have one of the most perfect specimens of the human brain that has ever come to my attention at the university. And here the abnormal brain of the typical criminal. All of these degenerate characteristics check amazingly with the case history of the dead man before us, whose life was one of brutality, of violence and murder. I'm worried about Henry. Why has he left the university? He was doing so well, and he seemed so happy with his work. Well, you know, his researches in the field of chemical galvanism and electrobiology were far in advance of our theories here at the university. The bodies we use in our dissecting room for lecture purposes were not perfect enough for his experiments, he said. Oh, the bodies of animals. Well, what are the lives of a few rabbits and dogs? Herr Frankenstein was interested only in human life. First to destroy it, then recreate it. This storm develops as I hope. You will have plenty to be afraid of before the night's over. The brain you stole, Fritz. Think of it. The brain of a dead man. Waiting to live again in a body I made with my own hands. With my own hands. <laughs> created a monster and it will destroy you. He's only a few days old, remember. So far, he's been kept in complete darkness. Wait till I bring him into the light. Here he comes. It understands this time. It's wonderful. Frankenstein, Frankenstein, where is it? Where is it? Ah! Quiet, you fool! <laughs> Get away with that torch! <laughs> Oh. 
You stay here, Maria. I'll just take a look at my traps. Now we're going to the village and have a grand time, huh? <laughs> Won't be long yet. Oh, no, no. Huh? Be a good girl now. Come on, kitty. Would you like one of my flowers? Huh. You have those, and I'll have these. Make a boat. See how mine floats? Dr. Bowman's been murdered in the tower. It's a monster. He's been seen in the hills terrorizing the mountainside. He's in the house. Thank <laughs> you. 